I'm Pat Gunn, and we've been playing Skyrim. Since the end of the last video, I just walked myself over here and took all the gear back from uh, Jazargo. And I did notice, actually, that Jazargo has been using... Um, he has been using the healing potions that I gave him. And I'm going to put on my necklace of sails. Return any time. What brings... Take a look. And actually, I'm curious if he has... No, there's an effect uh, called Banish. That's the best uh, weapon effect that you can get. Uh, unfortunately, it's uh, very rare. So, you just have to keep on checking for it. And it only shows up at a certain level. Okay, we're going to keep on carefully selling this stuff making sure that we don't um, we don't sell anything that we want to use. And he's out of money. I will buy up all his uh, stock of stuff that is usable for crafting Based on my proficiencies now, he has more money than I do. So, let's get back to sales. But now, again, we're, we're starting to make some really high value stuff because our enchanting skill is high enough. So it doesn't take a lot to get ourselves back up. Let's take the level. While we uh, while we're here, we're gonna level up health up to 290, and I believe we had something picked out. I, what was it? it? Wasn't sneaking? It wasn't archery? Was it? No, archery would be useful, but I don't think it was block. It wasn't smithing. Actually, because we're at Enchanting 99, we're not going to, uh... Take a look. We're not going to take a perk, because chances are... I don't think we'll, uh... Return any time. You're quite welcome here. Oh, we're still overburdened. Okay, can I do any more glass stuff? Oh, I can make a glass bow. Sweet. And I will improve it, because this is something that I probably would use. Oh, but I, I shouldn't improve it. I think I took off my, my crafting gear. Oh, well, I just took off part of it. Craft 20 left ring. Smith 20 right ring. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely not the best crafting setup that you can get. Because normally you really want to have a, a bigger set of... Uh, bigger set of things. Might as well improve the rest of this stuff a little bit more. So the ebony bow that we're using now does 64. The glass bow does 72. So that gives us another thing we can enchant. Now we're just after, uh, in it for the uh, experience. So elven stuff. Could make a new elven bow, I guess. We can make a few new elfin bows. And uh, we'll save a little bit of the material to improve this. If I were a little bit more organized, I would be keeping more track of what improves what. But... Eventually, preparation begins to feel ridiculous if you do too much of it. So, you want to find the sweet spot of just the right amount of prep. Do I, am I out of leather? Uh, I guess I'm re really running pretty low on leather. I would like to have enough st uh, stuff to enchant that I know for sure that I'm going to be able to hit level uh, level 100. 
You're quite welcome here. So it didn't open up any steel options. I do have studded. And let's see what improving that gets me to. Wow, <laughs> that's ridiculous. He somehow landed on my head. So I'm not doing bad at leveling my... Uh, That hopefully is enough to enchant stuff. Uh, on he's you to today? Repair, purchase. That is an awkward way to to smith. In fact, it's one of the aw most awkward ways to smith that you'll probably ever see. And I think now that should be enough with just a little bit more. Uh, and it looks like I can still scoot him aside and elsewhere. Okay. Uh, yeah, I definitely regret that I can't. Um, I can't manage to get myself out of being overburdened. There really nothing I can sell. I can sell that. It doesn't really weigh anything. But 227, 213, arcing. Okay. Well, that's good enough for now. But I'm at 848 out of 525 encumbrance now, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, reasonably safe. So yeah, smith, uh, smithing and uh, and alchemy gear. You're gonna want to have a set of that. It's up to you whether you bring it with you uh, through all the uh, dungeons. I normally do because occasionally I craft stuff when down there and I also don't like to need to visit my home quite so often. But it does uh, does um, add to your uh, your weight that you can't get rid of. Some other people I imagine probably prefer to um, probably prefer to leave it at home and only occasionally uh, do alchemy. It might theoretically be a better match for uh, for me, but okay. Let's hopefully get up. So sixty four is my ebony bow. Did I did I make the glass bow? I thought I made a glass bow. Maybe not. Yeah, I did. And it's 72. So 64. I can enchant this thing because I'm not intending to keep it. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting kind of low on soul gems. And I'm making very high value items. Oh, shoot. I might run out of might actually run out of soul gems. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna fail just short of the finish line. I'm almost at level 100, but all I have left in soul gems are the Black Star and a few, uh, do I have even free empty soul gems? Because I guess what I could do is just go out and fight monsters for a bit collect a few souls, come back, hit level 100, and then go through the trouble of selling this stuff. 
I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So I have been keeping stuff in here, but I'm going to stick everything in the end table instead because I don't want to mix up stuff that I know I'm going to sell with stuff that I might be keeping longer term for some reason. This also leaves me with the dilemma of what to do about my own gear. And I guess for now, I'll just put the glass stuff away in here and use my current set of gear. I'm a bit bummed about that, but the alternative would be going out with a completely unenchanted set of gear. And I'm not keen on doing that. So I have plenty of stuff to, to enchant, I just don't have enough soul gems to, to do it. And did I have any more weapons to put away? No. What do you need, my thing? On the upside, I can put all my crafting stuff away. At least for now. At some point, I will have to go back and do a lot of crafting to get my crafting up to level 100. But that's for later. And again, this this may seem pretty boring, but it is something that you're going to have to do if you want to be reasonably powerful in uh, Skyrim. So that is all uh, I'm going to take care of when I'm in here. What I probably should do is pick a quest and do it, and just make sure. Actually, the, the quest that makes most sense to do is to try to get the rest of the Crimson Nern route because there are plenty of monsters down uh, down there in uh, Black Run or Black Black Reach Black Reach, and it's something that I was eventually going to want to do anyhow. So we will head outside and head down to Blackreach. I'm pretty sure I have enough soul gems that... Actually, I just realized that with the Black Star... No, no, never mind. I guess it's a little bit late because with the video recording software, it slows down uh, the game reasonably. But I guess it's not taking as much time as it might to load scenes. Yeah, it's a lot faster this time. So I will return to one of these great lifts and head down and see if I can uh, get the rest of those things and collect a bunch of souls to level up um, <clears throat> to le uh, level up enchanting the last bit it's kind of neat looking keys I wonder if keys ever uh, actually look like that Okay, so bounce bow on the right, because I know for sure that I want to use a bound weapon to score some kills. And I'm probably not going to summon something 
probably not going to summon anything because I don't want uh, That looks like a robot down there, and there's some Thelmer on this platform ahead. Okay. So I'll let this slip slip down here. Duck down. Unfortunately, dragons don't have. Oh, and there's a fight. The robot is fighting something. I'm not sure what it's fighting. I'm assuming that Jizargo has been found by a foe. Now it, this thing is chasing me. Ow. pretty effective and that just having it breathe on me for a moment was enough to deal some pretty significant damage. I wonder what it, what it was chasing originally though. This still looks like a place that I've been to before, which means I'm probably not going to find more um, more crimson nerd root around here. And head up here and see if the vantage helps at all. Huh, neat. It's a gigantic uh, and it looks like there's another robot over there. Again, this is not going to help me at all on collecting souls, but actually I guess it's not entirely useless because it will get me more soul gems and I am not sure how many of those I have. Um... Oh, missed. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to have very good hearing. And Jizargo is just going to run right up. Just have to hope I can get it. Don't kill him. Ah, gotcha. Sweet. Oh, something spats poison at me, I think. Ooh, goodness. Yeah, I don't want that thing getting too near me. Because they do a lot of damage. Gotcha. Oh. It's another Reaper. It's the toughest kind, I think. I do wish that Jusargo had a better understanding of, of line of sight so that he wouldn't keep on getting right between me and my foes, because that is not conducive to uh, fighting with a bow and arrow. Huh, I wonder what that is. Oh, sweet. I think I spy the Crimson Nern Root. Oh, I need to get 30 rather than 20. Okay, that's unfortunate, but it's doable. Is that another... Geode vein? Okay. Let's see... Oh, uh, yeah, this is more... Uh, this is actually supposed to be a conundrum uh, vein. be killing 
critters of some kind. That is really not what I wanted. And shouting at these things doesn't really do anything. On the upside, I am capturing some more souls. And their antenna are very good for leveling alchemy. I might have already fully explored that area pretty well. Hmm. Looks like an interesting structure. I wonder if the Dwemer had boats and stuff to travel around uh, this area. I guess it would make sense. Um, oh. There's a, one of those robots. And apparently, the, oh, they fire explosive bolts. That is really irritating. But it's taken care of. this is going to give me conundrum or yep always hoping for uh, soul gems but ah, that looks like another one of these oh ebony always happy to get ebony This also, also looks like another waterfall, and I don't want to accidentally be swept over by currents. Particularly given that that happened earlier in this... Uh... Okay, ten more to go. Let's save just in case because I'm going to try hopping across here. Okay, looks like I'm fine. Um, okay. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, hopefully I'll land in water. Yes, I landed in water. Then I am fine. Yeah, the game doesn't really think a lot about how water works, so it doesn't it doesn't take into consideration that surface tension would cause you to go splat just as much as uh, as you would on a uh, on a solid surface if you fall from a great enough height. I'm not sure if I've been in here or not. Seems I have. And yeah, that's another irritating thing about those things. They kind of explode. I'm hearing... I thought I had been in here before, but... Let's head in here and see what is going on. There's another Nern route. Maybe there's more than one pumping station. Although this does look substantially similar to what I saw before. Although dungeons also reset after a while. 
So it's possible that the game just didn't want to keep track of what was in here. And so it overset it. Which makes sense when you consider like how many chests and how many places there are that things can be left in the game. It would be absurd to decide that the game absolutely can never um, can never lose track of anything. Your save files would be eventually quite large. Now I think this is a path to the surface. But this is also showing me that I'm not really traveling in the right way, uh, traveling in the right directions to find new areas. Which might say something about my aesthetics, that I keep on being drawn in certain directions in the game. Uh, that looks like an, a vein. Up there. Geode vein. Please be soul gems. No. Actually, we're going to have to uh, to break again. So, I will bid you adieu, and see you in the next uh, episode of Let's Play Skyrim. <laughs>